These are the sounds that echoed throughout the Macon Civic Auditorium when Otis Redding made an appearance. But today the auditorium was quiet as thousands of mourners came to pay their last respects to the man who helped put Macon on the map. Otis Redding loved the town of Macon and the South, but it took his tragic death to see just how much Macon really thought of him. His reputation in the U.S. was just beginning to grow. However, much of Europe rated him number one in the recording world. But despite his world popularity, he always returned to Macon. And today was his last visit. Macon, Georgia. And for that matter, the entire world has not forgotten Otis Ray. Macon is very proud of Otis. I hope that the Otis Redding success story will serve as a source of inspiration for our young people. Not only did the Macon residents line up to pay their last respects, but at one time during the day, one wondered if the mobs weren't there to see recording artists like James Brown and little Stevie Wonder. They had to fight their way from the auditorium to their cars. But despite the moments of emotion, singer Johnny Taylor set the mood for a tribute to Otis Redding, the man who carried the blues into almost everything that he did. Oh, you standing by, oh yes dear, so don't you worry, don't feel discouraged, oh don't you cry. Don Bridges in Macon for TV5 News.